Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create an NFT collection without spending unnecessary money on making it happen. So first things first is you will need to create an account on any NFT marketplace that you prefer. For this example, I'm choosing OpenSea since this is the number one and the biggest NFT marketplace in the world. The second thing that you will need is actually a wallet. This means having a digital crypto wallet where you can receive payments and you can pay for different fees. And our goal in this tutorial would be to make sure that we spend as little as possible. I myself use MetaMask, so I'm going to log in with my MetaMask account right now. Once you have entered your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you're using, you can now go to your profile and create your first NFT. You can click on here. Then you will need to confirm the signature request. As you can see, I have a zero balance in this account. And now I can create a new item or create a new NFT. From here, it's very important to start by choosing the right blockchain. I myself am going to show you what's the cheapest way to create NFT right now. And this would mean switching to Polygon. Polygon allows you to create your first NFT without spending too much money, without initial investment. The next step is to upload your item. In order to upload the item, you need to follow the instructions. These are the file types that are supported. This is the maximum size. If the size is too big for the website, you need to compress the image. I suggest using compressor.io for this purpose. After you upload the image, you can name the NFT, let's say Kitty Picture 101. If you want, you can add an external link where um, you can add a link to the URL of this item detail page and provide a detailed description for your item. Let's say this is the first Kitty NFT from the exclusive Kitty NFT collection. If you already have created a collection, you can add the NFT to the collection, to the exi existing collection. From here, you can add properties. Let's say you can say that this is um, some kind of character and let's say this is a male kitty called John, I don't know, whatever. You decide what your characters would be. You can even provide uh, information about levels, stats, or other stuff um, to make it more, to make a certain NFT more rare than uh, other NFTs. You can even include unwalkable content. Let's say that you provide here uh, art people and collectors with a preview of the picture of the kitty but after they buy the nft they will receive this picture in full quality so if you're an artist you can have the small picture or preview of your art here and after somebody buys it they can receive the full quality graphic of your artwork that could be um, used for printing or distribution. You can, from here, you can uh, say how many items you allow to be minted. If I say two, that means that two people could buy the same NFT. Of course, each NFT would have different unique address and unique properties in the blockchain, but the image that they receive would be the same but I will just choose one. And you can have Polygon here. After that, you click Create. You confirm 
that you're not a robot. Okay, I guess I can't confirm that. Done. And you have just created your very first NFT. It's up. This is how it's going to look. Obviously, on this step, you can't just check out everything that's going on on the NFT, see if, it's, if it works the way you want it to look. You can edit it from here. And this is the NFT and the way it's going to look on the website. But this is still not for sale. In order to list it for sale, you need to click on list for sale. And choose the pricing. So this step is very important because it's going to tell you what kind of fees you need to pay and what kind of creator, earn, creator earnings you um, have attached to the file. So you can choose from fixed price or timed auction. Fixed price allows you to set a price. Timed auction allows you to sell to the highest bidder or sell with a declining price for a set period of time. I'm going to choose fixed price and I'm going to say, let's say, 0.3 ethers, ethereums, which is, you see how many dollars. I'm going to set the sale for one month. I can reserve it for a specific buyer or even sell as a bundle and give people the ability to receive other stuff as well. So the summary is that I'm going to list it, list it for this price and creators that I have created from, they have added from in the creator earnings options, which I have already shown you in another video, are going to receive 10% from each sale from now on for this specific item. The OpenSea platform will charge me 2.5% fee for the purchase uh, of the item and my total potential earnings from uh, 0.3 ethereum are going to be that much ethereum at that much usd you see this is a fixed rate fee after that you complete the listing and if you are on another mainnet let's say that you've been using ethereum so far in your wallet you need to switch the network. Done! Your item has been listed. You can now check out your very first NFT I haven't paid anything for it, as you can see. And I'm going to pay OpenSea after a sale is completed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.